Greetings in the name, <laughs> in the name of the blame, in the name of the most high, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I always give a little time with uh, music in the beginning to, uh, you know, alert people, with, you know, we're, we're going live. Uh, if that's not agreeable to you to wait through the music, if you're listening to it on a recording or a YouTube or something like that, you can always skip ahead. Uh, it's very easy to do. Just take your mouse, just move it a little bit, and then you'll be right at the beginning of the talking. I, uh, you know, I like a little music at the beginning because it, it creates a feeling of anticipation. I try to pick the right tracks to, to have that. Um, this one that uh, was just playing, I uh, I just wait for, there's this like three notes that remind me of Hawaiian music that it, it finally hits. And that's my cue to, to come in and start talking. And uh, so it's like, you know, you know, that it hits that da 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 it goes way up. And I I'm not I'm not hitting that note here. I'm just it goes way up and it it's got that sort of Hawaiian thing going. Anyway, um all right. Ah, uh, there's well, as usual, it's the best of times, the worst of times. I spent mo- the bulk of my night having to pray off witchcraft off uh, people I know. Maybe a couple of you. I can't believe how busy it was last night. Uh, I'm looking for those with prophetic gifts to maybe uh, echo. Why did you did you get that? I mean, <laughs> I had you know, and then then I woke it up out of a deep sleep because of this uh, these women. I guess um, uh, you may not know her, but uh, uh, somebody it's on on Twitter. Somebody that's been kind of around the media a little bit. Now working with the NRA uh, for women training with firearms. Her name is Kaya Jones. She was a singer. You know, was in a made for Hollywood band, I guess, back in the back in the day, and then <clears throat> eventually just evolved into uh, really wanting to um, do something with the country. You know, make the country free again, and and all that. And a Trump supporter, and and you know, and gun advocate, and. Anyway, I just had this terrible dream about her. I mean, it was unbelievable. I, I, I don't even want to, I, I'm not going to mention wow. it to her, but it was just like this persecution dream that if I didn't get up and start praying right now, she was going to get killed. And, uh, and this thing kept coming at her. It was this mysterious thing we'd seen before, like text that's flying through the air, like a, like a, there had been a text like that before threatening her and probably threatening the other women that are taking part in this in this NRA thing. And uh, uh, and then I realized it, it was coming from, you know, there's a great force in this country that doesn't want there to be a Second Amendment. And they are, you know, and it's going to get real ugly going forward. I mean, like, everything is going to get like war coming forward here. Everything gets like... Real ugly, lots of death, lots of shootings, lots of killings, you know, just unfortunately that's just part and parcel when you go through an upheaval and a change like we're going through. And then you have people trying to horn in on it. We're going to talk about the false prophets, the QAnon, all the false conspiracy theories, all the people that are just, you know, throwing Trump under the bus and all that. I just, you know, at, when they were there before, you know, and, and then justifying it with this sort of Illuminati stuff. I uh, absolutely, 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 absolutely see um, these people are not going to let us have peace. They want to go to war. They're just not going to, you know, it's, it's, I, 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 well, I'm just so filled to the brim with things today. So anyway, as far as Kaya Jones is concerned, um, this thing was coming at her, and and it was, it, 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 you know, it had a danger. It had to be thwarted, uh, and then I could see there was a danger of killing these women, you know, of 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 trying to make the NRA a bad. I mean, the NRA is key to all. I mean, think about it. The NRA to them is key to all of their plans, to everything they hold dear: totalitarianism, poverty, uh, uh, regulation, uh, property confiscation, wealth confiscatory taxes 
to to prevent wealth creation, uh, enforced vaccines, enforced schooling, enforced sexualization, enforced uh, perversion, enforced godlessness, everything that they hold that is gold and gold and gold to them, the left, the globalists, whatever you want to call them. I call them communists. Everything, and one more of these two, Everything that they hold dear, and you know, and, and, and complete failure for the United States managing the decline, as Obama did, and folding it into the New World Order ultimately, which is a hellhole, okay? Which, if you want to see a template of that in, in motion right now, look no further than California. That is your template right now. That is their big success. That's what they're all touting. Hoorah! You know, they're yelling and cheering. Hollywood celebrities are whooping it up at their parties. They're all just so giddy over California. And they, they, they would just love to export that to the rest of the nation. And the only hope that people have at all are people like I just mentioned that are in great danger. And, I mean, she may not know it. I mean, I did. I bound it. I, I took care of it. But the fact that there is that kind of antipathy toward a person, she doesn't even know there's something coming at her. But the witchcraft is so heavy now. I mean, it was so heavy last night. I would, God, the things I've seen in the spirit. I mean, that's, that's my real forte, right? So, uh, needless to say, a very busy night. I had to cover friends. Uh, particularly some people on our prayer group and things like that with prayer be not just cover. I don't, I'm sorry, that's the wrong word. I had to actually just get into swashbuckling battle mode. And some of you probably are noticing this already. What you've got to do is just, you know, add to my prayers for you and, um, and realize you've got a problem, okay? You've got a real problem. You're getting sucked up by that that whole spirit of uh, demonic spirits. You've got to you've got to you've got to uh, plant your feet on the ground and and just get right with the Lord. Just get into the spirit of God and and just really ask the Lord for direction right now because uh, and I'm vulnerable myself. Okay, so I because I I did some naughty things. You know, we were involved in. Freeing a child from uh, uh, slavery and and misery and and poss- probably death um, to be to be free to grow up and have an actual life, you know we 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 were involved in getting his freedom, you know, along with the uh, LTO orphanage that's here, also part of our prayer group. And I found I had to really pray about that too. That, that there was, and that then there was stuff coming at me, you know. And uh, so I don't, you know, I, I don't really, you know, I don't get into uh, literalism. When this stuff is going on like it is, I'm not into literalism because people also get mad at each other and throw bad vibes at each other. Or who knows? Everybody is all messed up with each other. You know, I've done, all relationships are broken. <laughs> so it's like there's a lot of misunderstandings. And see, what happens is sometimes somebody might throw something in anger. And then it it picks up energy from the witches. How? I don't know. You know what I mean? And then they amplify it. And they just want to keep that energy going, that negativity. Just throw it on everybody if they can. And they're very good at it. And, uh, you know, they pick it up in the, you know, in the spiritual realm. I've got people on my six that I thought were out of my life and gone, you know, some some years and years ago. Nope. Death curses every day from heavy duty, high end, uh, ancient bloodline witchcraft, and I, I cannot believe it. But it answers a lot of questions. Not that I was blind; it's just that it was this, you know, trying to be subtle so I wouldn't detect it. You know, just trying to kind of ease you into death. It's. Uh, the first thing that goes is the mind. You know, people like, like I say, they'd like to get us mad at each other. That happens. And people get competitive, which should never be. And, you know, people get, you know, they get possessive. They get, they feel dist if you don't talk to them. And, you know, there's, <clears throat> and then they start, you know, reacting. And then, of course, that's all that's needed 
to get the real forces of darkness involved. And the goal, of course, is to bust everything up and to bust everybody up. But the goal is also to kill us all. You have to understand the goal is always to kill us all, to, but first to degrade us and then to kill us in a slow, painful manner that they could feed off of during the actual death process. So, uh, that's not going to happen, okay? You got me on point here. And, uh, man, oh, man, it reminds me of the old days. You know, really uh, heavy-duty stuff. And, 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 you know, and I hope, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I can see, like right now I can see everybody involved. And, you know, there are people that, that you don't know their names or their faces, but they're involved too. And there's all these people, you know, and this whole roiling kind of thing. And they're trying to, and what they're trying to do is get control of this whole underground news thing, <clears throat> you know, this kind of conspiracy, QAnon, Infowars, you know, all that stuff, you know, and, you know, talking about, you know, the Rothschilds and this and the Jews and blah, 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 you know, the rest of all, all the stuff they blather on about all day. And um, so they're trying to get at that and really make it ephemeral, you know, really make it uh, a side a sideline of a sideline, really make it a sideshow of a sideshow, really neutralize. And that means a lot of the good researchers that are involved, you know, are, you know, Pizzagate, Pedogate, you know, Pedivore, you know, the, the Carnivore, <laughs> You know, it comes from, you know, invasion of the body snatchers. All of this is uh, to be uh, of no import. In other words, to, to, to neuter all of you so that you, no matter what you publish, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, no matter how accurate it is, no matter how good you are, and a lot of you are very, very good. The problem is it's just not going to go anywhere if they have their way. And so I'm working on opening those pathways. And I, and I did. <laughs> because, and we are right now, and those pathways in Jesus' name will be opened for the truth to, to flow. Because when the truth flows, no matter where it comes from, it has it anest it has it, it anesthetizes, it cleanses, <clears throat> it paves the way for good things to happen. You know, people are very, 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 very upset with the whole QAnon promising of the rest. And, and Alex, five weeks ago, saying, you know, mass arrests are coming, echoing QAnon, and then having egg on his face. And, and I mean, now it's just a, bit, a total embarrassment. And, and it's the most embarrassing of all is all the people that are into this sort of Q club. There's like a Q club now that you join. And they call it the wave. No, I know. I know. They ripped off 20 on 20. I understand. I, I, I'm seeing it. I, I can't believe it. Like there's a competition now between one and the other, and all it does is cancel out everything so nobody hears a damn thing. So everything is silent. So everything is blacked out. These people are very, very good at what they do. And a lot of these are already algorithms and bots and, you know, Google. And, you know, I mean, they're very, very good. But the base of it is always witchcraft, unless they be of the Lord. And there are very few people of the Lord in this country, sorry. Probably window opening. Okay, greetings. We've had a, a complete meltdown of our internet. We were cut off the internet. Uh, and I'm not sure exactly what happened or when it happened, but there's an outage. It's been very difficult today. I started off by saying last night I spent most of the night fighting the witches off off people I know, people I don't know that I was led to pray for uh, here at the home. Just everywhere you look, it was just this great, you know, amazing inundation of witchcraft. And... Um, I really, you know, I, 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 it's very unpleasant for me to have to do that kind of work. But, you know, I, I'm one of the, you know, few people 
that I know. I mean, I probably know most everybody that has this kind of discernment. You know what I mean? This kind of vision. They see these things, you know, and I, I probably know right in this state anyway, most of the people that have that uh, can see. Uh, and it's up to us to, you know, when we see it, when we perceive it, to get busy with prayer and warfare prayer, to, to break that stuff up, to to cast it to the pit, to cast it to the cross, even where it is finished, to cast it, to, to hand the people, the perpetrators, to the Lord, to have them dealt with, and also to pray for complete, total confusion amongst the ranks of the hive mind so that they're... They, they, when they have confusion, they cannot be a hive. It breaks those spells instantly. And uh, the blood of Jesus breaks all spells, just so you know that. And the reason I think it got so bad is because, again, and I've noticed this, there, there are gaps of time, gaps of time where things where I'm just not quite, I was thinking one thing and then I kind of dropped that and went off to another. Things are not really sharp. These are all indicators of witchcraft uh you know you th- you you have your plan you think you know you, you usually do things a certain way but it's not that important or it's not that rigorous things are just kind of going by the wayside your focus is not quite there you feel just kind of fuzzy and foggy you know uh if you are in any kind of uh truth-telling situation or you're 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 following the lord and all that you shouldn't ever have those kind of symptoms you know and usually those kind of symptoms are uh, evidence that you have witchcraft coming at you. They may be from witches and from people you don't even know. You know what I mean? Because they throw blanket spells and on many different people. So I was really busy last night. And I had mentioned Kaya Jones was one that, that I don't know her. I mean, I know of her being a an advocate for uh, the NRA and, and also having been a singer and been a Trump supporter or whatever. But even she, this thing that was happening to her that was so bizarre, but it was so real, was so so much something that I had to get up and start praying about. Now, as soon as I got my internet back, what happened is the dogs took that opportunity to start in, making it very difficult for me to concentrate. And I'm, I don't know that I'll be able to do a transmission today. I had to type. I, I have no hashtags. The reason I have no hashtags is because I'm not allowed to type them. I've typed some hashtags 50,000 different times, and it will not publish it. It will make it into a typo that then causes problems down the road. Uh, this is some sort of algorithm, something they've done to certain people. And I know it sounds completely crazy, but uh, I'm, I'm seeing a, a pattern here. And uh, it's, 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 it's getting harder and harder and harder to communicate. It's easy to communicate if you're going to spin. And what you missed, what I was talking about, was the history of conspiracy theory. And it's too bad that you guys missed that because I was telling you about this vast body of information that was out a long time ago. You know what I mean? And then a lot of the conspiracies today are watered-down versions of what we had back then that was so fervent back then. And um, everything from, let's talk about uh, Val Valeria and the Matrix 1, 2, and 3, and about, you know, viruses and electronic warfare and psychotronic warfare and uh, just, um, you know, all the nice, neat kind of things they do to enslave people and infiltrate them and invade them and uh, ruin their health and ruin their lives and ruin their minds and ruin their kids and ruin everything that there is. And so people were really into it back then. I mean, there was, like I said, a body of work. We were expecting that the whole E.T. thing was raging in the 70s after the movie by Steven Spielberg, which seemed to be a movie to prepare us all for this for this uh, grand enslavement, which would be us going to the stars. That's back in the form, in the bizarre form of QAnon, and that's kind of muted there, you know, but it's it's back in some kind of weird, weird form, but it's... You know, all these things, you know, the photon belt, I explained that. The uh, Planet X, we went through that, right? And uh, and, and various uh, various uh, th- things that some have caught, some became fanciful, some became 
uh, some went to the wayside, you know what I mean? The photon belt was one that kind of went to the wayside in 1992. They had a date where the photon belt event would occur, three days of darkness. And and I, I met a lot of people that had sold everything and were waiting for that three days of darkness. And then it didn't happen. Uh, so all of this conspiracy theory, including, you know, uh, what's it, you know, Behold a Pale Horse, you know, Cooper, uh, Whitley Strieber, uh, you know, in the 90s, Art Bell was really getting cranked up. You know, you guys who have been around, you know, you've seen this stuff come and go and come and go and come and go. And now what's happened is the uh, information has gotten to the point on the Internet where it's a lot of it's just recycled from those from those books and those eras into something new that's like new today. And it's not new, you know. Uh <laughs> And like I said, most conspiracy people and places and all that are, you know, notoriously wrong. <laughs> you know, the when they set dates, right? Stuff's going to happen. Notoriously wrong, including false prophets of Christianity. Uh, this date will have the rapture, that date, you know, the rapture theories. And so none of this stuff moves the ball. None of this stuff affects the public. None of this stuff uh, awakens people. Uh, it, it only really is there for the participants involved. You know, these are people that back in the day would have gone to the uh, the, the the New Life Expo or this Expo or that Expo, you know, and, and they buy little essential oils and they get, you know, books, conspiracy books on our, you know, on the aliens or whatever. You know, they have all the, or the, you know, the, the great uh, mass uh, electronic uh, hive mind uh, plan to take over all minds for from the 5G, it's going to take over everyone's electrical grid and then control us like zombies. And, you know, so it on and on and on it goes. People wonder why uh, it becomes so ephemeral to our society where a lot of the stuff, and there's a lot of earnest researchers. I think that uh, all the Val Valerian research uh, in this, uh, you know, the Matrix series, I think that was just, it was a, Com- compilation of research, but I think it was it was amazing because everything that's talked about today, or p- I've heard people talk about about everything from biology to and and, and mutation to nano machines to uh, scalar weapons, so all that stuff uh, that was written up, uh, e- even to the manipulation of consciousness and the the use of consciousness to create whatever. All of that uh, has been you know discussed over the years and and. And it was, you know, it written up with great detail and, you know, putting the blame where they bl- always blaming everybody else, not the reader, not the author, but everybody else out there is the blame. And then it goes back to the to the royal families and the, the royal families that rule so proudly over the earth, as we saw with the pomp and circumstance of Queen Barbara Bush and her queendom, I mean, with a with a... F- Ongoing feast of funeral that seems to never end, fit for a queen. <laughs> oh my God! But with the Barbara Bush funeral comes the witchcraft, ramped up to a level that, like I say, out of a deep sleep, I'm jarred awake and I'm praying for this woman, and they're going to kill her. You know, that's just no question. They they want to kill anything that has to do with the NRA. You know, you think, oh, the NRA, that's no conspiracy thing. That's, no, no, no. It's not like it was. It's, the, the, everything is up for, for death. Everything is up for big shot, just gunned down in the marketplace, just gunned down on the street. You know, you saw the holistic uh, doctors, right? We didn't talk about that too much. And that, that, that speaks volumes. Of course, that's, you know, big pharma, people suspect. Well, this, you know, NRA has the same kind of uh, enemies. So I found myself praying for her. And then, of course, I saw that a lot of the people, you know, friends and so forth, were being hit with this witchcraft. And then I, then I put the connection together. Oh, my God, it's being empowered or just, it's just like, like, a, like a generator coil, like a Tesla coil you know, wrapped up and generated by this Barbara Bush uh, funeral. And so that's what they're up to. Okay, all right. Starting up those engines. Like they're using this as a milestone to begin something. 
this week. And, of course, attendant with that is all the witches becoming empowered and then, you know, using their powers to try to do the following. Number one, break up all the, uh, any kind of information, scatter it, make it confusing, whatever, sideline it, make it so it doesn't move the ball, doesn't move the, uh, doesn't move the dial, does nothing. Bust it up. Uh, you know, and, and there's a good number of people who've repeated over and over again every, seems every decade, they, they keep saying it's the Rothschilds, it's the Jews, it's this, it's that. They, they either have that or it's the Vatican, the Jesuits. They have these various theories. And uh, all of these have become very tired and shop-worn, you know, and, and, and to no effect on the world whatsoever and to no effect on the people because uh, when they learn about all this stuff, they just feel like victims and they feel like they have no way out anyway and everything's just screwed and there's no point in getting out of bed. So it doesn't do much good for them either. And, but all of it, I've seen the connection between the ruination of all that information, a lot of which is very, very good. It should cause an awakening, of course. But I see how the witchcraft ends up, you know, in, in, involved in managing the information networks of the world. And uh, it's just very, very sophisticated, uh, coming from another dimension, obviously, and uh, causing all this, uh, you know, all this uh, disarray and disconnection between people and ultimately to cause division between people, division between uh, aspects of knowledge. Like, you know, you don't draw a connection between the Nazis and the photon belt and, the, and say, the, uh, the EBEs and the, um, and the pyramids. You know what I mean? Uh, it may be there, and we could talk about it. We could connect it all, and 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 then and then show how that all connects to uh, modern science today and what they're trying to achieve uh, vis-a-vis the uh, this other world that doesn't exist anyway. While we go along with our business, thinking that we live in some kind of a world that makes where what we do makes a difference, and. Uh, you know, it makes a difference in the overall reality, in the real reality. Not, it makes a difference here in our ant farm, but it doesn't make a, a difference in the overall reality of anything. Things, the same old, same old, you know. And now on the Internet, it just seems that it's gotten really watered down and where people can be easily manipulated this way, that way. You saw the QAnon fiasco. That was... You know that we saw the the whole missile thing, and that was that was that was dividing more people. You know, along the same lines, and they were starting to to echo the words Jews and Rothschilds and same old, same old, and no help here, and we're all screwed basically. And so I've watched this repeat over and over, and I think, Lord, you're trying to tell me something. You're trying to tell me something about all this that's that just seems to be a watered-down repetition now with watered-down people saying watered-down things and, 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 and things that aren't going to change anything anyway. And, I, you know, and that they want to know, well, what happened to justice? What, why was there no arrests? And, and, and what happened with Pizzagate and Pedogate and Carnivore, or Pedivore, or whatever, all the, you know, all the heinous things on Anthony Weiner's computer. All of this stuff was really relegated to the conspiracy blogs, right, 4chan, 8chan, YouTube, and then what happened? And that is the subject, ladies and gentlemen, of today's talk. What happened? What happened is people got their heads handed to them in terms of truth. What happened is the whole thing is badly damaged and can't you know, and I, I don't think it'll be revived. What happened is the whole damn thing blew up, and now we're, we're in kind of virgin territory again, not knowing where this is going because we have no historical frame of reference for where we are today. Hallelujah, though. I like that. Because there's nothing worse than the ennui of repetition. The ennui of repetition. Anui, world weariness. The weariness, the world weariness of repetition. 
I cannot think of anything more horrific than to have the repeat over and over and over until you finally just go, look, I get it, I understand. You know, and then eventually you go, you tune out and you say, all right, so you're all in the whole Batway conspiracy thing. That's fine. I have to keep going here. So we'll see you. And so that, and so there's that disconnect where there should be an awakening. There's any, there is no awakening whatsoever. The great awakening, never going to happen because it was neutralized before it could get going. And, you know, the witches have get a lot of credit. Uh, the powers that be um, obviously get a lot of credit. The overall management of it all that goes comes from another dimension gets a lot of credit. And even for this, that the people involved on all these different things and blogs and whatever they're talking about all believe they're they're discovering things for the first time. They're trying to lay some new information on the public so the public will wake up. And that must be a very frustrating feeling to lay some of your breaking breakthrough information onto the public and they don't care. Or it just kind of keeps going. The same people that were interested kind of hang around and they keep, you know, they gobble it up. But it doesn't change what's happening historically, geopolitically, uh, and with respect to, um, it seems our destiny is locked on something that it's just, it's, 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 you know, and, and I'm here to say that obviously God changes destinies. You know, they never saw the wave coming, but then I saw, I published this thing yesterday, and some of you saw it, this uh, QAnon recruitment uh, paper, this, there's a QAnon rec- recruitment poster, and they said, come join the wave. And I just about fell out of my chair. <laughs> and and I I just I, I I absolutely just couldn't believe it. I saw the same thing during the harmonic convergence. Come join the wave. The new wave of consciousness. Come join the wave. <laughs> oh. We're on a new destiny. We are becoming intergalactic. Hey brother, hey sister, we're becoming intergalactic. Isn't it awesome? And uh, the mass awakening will happen, folks, during this next 12 and a half years leading up to 2012. And by 2012, we will be super conscious. Do you realize that? We'll remember who we are. (laughs) And all of that was promised by in the very, very beginning in the QAnon uh, setups. A new world, a world of peace, where all that bad stuff is neutralized, where humanity would be set free. And then it didn't happen. 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 And then they said, so-and-so is arrested in the Philippines and Obama, and they're they're at Gitmo, and they said, that it didn't happen. That it didn't happen. And then, and then... Uh, five weeks ago, Alex Jones of expect ma- expect mass arrest this week. And then it didn't happen. Jerome Corsi, yes, echoing the same sentiment, and that it didn't happen. And 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 David Seaman trots says trotted out, and he says he goes, it's over, we won. And then it didn't happen. And then it didn't happen. And then it didn't. I mean, what kind of a world is it? Where people say it's over, we won. I'm a I'm a very credible journalist, and uh, so it's over. You know, uh, un- unbuckle your seatbelts, get off the airplane, and then it didn't happen, and then it didn't happen, and then it didn't happen, and then it didn't happen. And then they go on. This is World War Three. That's it. We're World War Three. Nice knowing you. And then it didn't happen, 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 then it didn't happen. Oh, but it will. He's be you got to just be patient a little while longer. And 
August 25th, 1992. We're entering the photon belt. It's, we're going intergalactic. It's the age of light. No more age of darkness. You have to survive three days of darkness. And it's tough, but there are places you can survive on the earth. And then you will enter into a new world. Your true destiny that you've always known was there, but you couldn't bring it exactly into focus. But here it is. You knew that you were meant for more than what you were living before. Here it is, your new life. August 25th, 1992. And then it didn't happen. And then it didn't happen. And then it didn't happen. And then it did not happen. By the way, you want to know what the confirmation of the witchcraft was? I mean, let's, let's, can we focus here? Sharp, ah, yes, crystal sharp. As soon as I started talking about this, what happened? The entire internet went out at 4.20 in the morning, mountain time, exactly when I began which doesn't happen. They say when things like that happen, it's witchcraft. (laughs) You think? I've had them tell me, like, I have an RV. I've had them tell, tell me when so many things have gone wrong, you know, electric things, you know, just, you understand how it is, those of you who understand how it is. Uh, You know, they go, your coach is haunted. They, they, now they think it's haunted because they just can't believe the the amount of things that just, they're ready to get it back to me after being in the shop for I don't know how long and then uh, there's, something else happens and something else happens and they just don't understand and I go, yeah, well, it's going to have to probably have an exorcism. And then the internet breaks and then gear in the studio breaks. The stuff that's broken, people can't even believe. I don't even go over it. I don't even, it's so common a thing, I don't even talk about it. Watches stop, clocks stop. Uh, internet out right as you're going to talk about the subject matter that was, that you had to, you know, the, 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 some very nitty gritty stuff in there about from what I was trying to explain about this witchcraft coming in. And, uh, you know, hitting people across the board. I mean, there's the one thing. It's like the witchcraft is in charge of the infotainment. So that's all the conspiracy theories and all the YouTubes. And remember how the censorship came right on in. Uh, The Q thing got launched. And then soon after that, the censorship came right on in. And then before you know it, though, what's really going on is we are besought with, with, with witchcraft across the board that is seeking to neutralize any and all information, ginned up and hyped up by the Barbara Bush funeral. And I find that connection to be, well, it's obvious. You know, they want a new world order, damn it. And Pappy Bush is still around. And some people probably say he died. He's still there. And they want to give it to him before he dies. So that's going to involve the confiscation of guns, the ousting of Trump, the... Uh, the, the you know the, the going into war footing with China and and whoever else you know what I mean, going to war with Russia, going to war with China, going to war with Iran, that's what we got to get back to. That's what they want. That's where the witchcraft is going with it all, and the witchcraft affects the consciousness of people that are unwitting. Right? They think they're living their own lives and thinking their own thoughts, but they aren't their thoughts and they're not their lives. That's witchcraft too. And so we have a big, 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 big war right now. And, uh, you know, it's anyone's guess what's going to happen day to day. I put my, you know, my stock in, in, in everything I've got in Jesus. 
because that's where I come from, you know, from the uh, same place he comes from. So he's really, in essence, I could call Jesus my father. You know, and I know that certain churches will call that blasphemous, but, you know, okay, I could call myself God then. Not blasphemous enough for you? Okay, I am the I am. Okay, how you like that? Okay, get out of here. No, no, I'm, I'm uh, beating people down. And, uh, I'm so beaten down. <laughs> God is so great, and I'm so beaten down. <laughs> God's so great, but I'm so beaten down. So unworthy and so horrible. I could never envision myself as I am, or Christ, or or part of the deal, or royal priesthood. Or I could never do that. The kingdom is within. It's a putrid thing like me. Nice work if you can get it, witches. Demoralize the people. Make them feel unworthy or unfit. Make them feel they don't deserve anything but punishment. And then <laughs> tell them that, uh, you know, to pray for, you know, nuclear World War III because we deserve it. Sure, I mean, there's, there's all this going on, too. That's all this big fight. And... um and then the la latest thing that I saw, like I say, was the throwing Trump under the bus for his wag the dog thing of, you know, a couple of, what was it, a couple of buildings and an open, empty airstrip that he bombed. This time, three buildings and empty airstrip, something like that. Yeah, he also wants to rebuild Syria, so. Um, but then this whole thing happened on the Internet with the, in, in, with the info warriors where they all would, you know, the, the the basic Trump base, and I read this article by a guy named Adam Gingrich that explained this whole thing perfectly. And uh, then that went bluey, and that caused you know, fragmentation everywhere. I mean, that's that's it. I thought there'll never be a recovery from that. You know, that that's it. The, the people, I had to delete people. They were just saying such awful things. And like they never saw a war before. Like this, it's like yeah, there's no such thing as no war. Grow up. And even getting jumping on me for not being more hysterical during the week, where I said they're going over targets to pre-approve hits. They're they're pre-approving targets, and they might launch, they might not. I don't know. But but if they do, they've got pre-approved targets. I mean, that was established the week leading up to that Friday night. And indeed, they did just that. They hit the targets that they pre-approved with Assad and Putin and everybody else. You know how they're all, all these wars are planned in advance. All these guys know that. Alex Jones knew that. I mean, what the hell? F Trump, F Trump. Anyway, that caused a great deal of tremendous damage. And now, well, you know, I don't want to see anyone complain. If everything gets back on track for their Agenda 21, I want to see people embrace it, don't you? I want to see them cheering on their servitude, cheering on their slavery, cheering on the bulldozing of cities, cheering on the homelessness, cheering it on, and even the poisoning of the homeless so they clean the streets up, you know? Yeah! I mean, that, that's what we want, isn't it? We want all these bad things to happen to us. And even more. California, they're just begging for it. They just beg for more. They beg for more. They beg. And they're on the verge. They got some bill going around. It's not confirmed yet, like that one news story said. But they do want to ban the Bible sales, which, that, what does that tell you? Get yourself into your Bible. Get yourself into your Bible. Cherish that Bible, that King James Bible. Get yourself in that King James Bible. Hold on to that thing for dear life. There's your wisdom. There's your direction. There's your prayers. There's who you are. It's all in there. It's like an identity, you know, like, like your, it's like your identity, you know. Uh, well, of course they want to take it away. Of course they don't want it. They're, they've just started to ramp up the squalor. When they see squalor, I think they have an orgasm. You know what I mean? Especially the celebrities. They love squalor. They would love to live in Venezuela where they could be a celebrity 
everyone worships them. They're filthy rich. Well, all the people in the streets are eating dogs and mice and, you know, zebras and things like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, don't even try. Don't even try to debate this. You can't unless you can erase Venezuela, erase California, erase all this stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to, oh, God, you want to play the game of who's to blame again? You're to blame, okay? You, you specifically, you are to blame for all of it, okay? It's your fault. Because you want to blame someone, well, why don't you start with yourself? You're as much to blame as Rothschild or Trump or whoever else you hate this week. Babs Bush. W. You're a little victim while they while they while they stomp on your grave. It's their fault. You're off the hook. No, this is the fall of man. There really is no fault, if you understand what I'm saying. This is what we have. And the reason we have this is because we fell and we fail to acknowledge that we have trouble. That only God can fix. And until and unless we as a people, we as a human being and as a collective, as everything, till we acknowledge that, the dial will not be moved, you know, with talking about, uh, you know, AI bots that are everywhere right now, <laughs> affecting everything online, you know, the, the odd nanomachines in your system, in your DNA. It's already in there. You're already infected. Talk about all this stuff. It's not going to move the dial. Not one bit. But God will move the dial a lot. In fact, he'll eradicate the dial. He'll blow the dial up. He'll, he'll bring in a new dial. He will do everything that he's going to do, and he's the only one that could do anything. We're already down at the place where we, we cry out to the Almighty God. We say, Lord, Lord, I can't do anything. Lord, Lord, please intervene here. Lord, we're overwhelmed. This thing is going to swallow us up. Lord, please help us. Please, God. And that's where we, we're kind of being brought into that position because all these conspiracy theories and, and the, the whole history of it, it never you know nothing ever happened all the things we were promised never came due do, do I go blame them they promised me I was going to get out of here in 1992 no it's not their fault they sincerely believed that on that date we would be liberated People would be, the bad guys would be neutralized and there'd be free money from the Federal Reserve. And we'd be rejuvenated our bodies, our minds would be refreshed. We would be able to have a connection with the Almighty God with no need of Jesus, just direct. <laughs> I say that as a joke. Um... Right. Well, where we are right now is a very, 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 very kind of unprecedented time. And I'm going to let it play out and see what it, it's very dramatic. I mean, every day you wake up on the, the few things we can observe that I could tell you are indicators of where we are. Numero uno. Numero uno, Wall Street. The stock market, when it quit going up, that we called it pretty much the day it stopped. We said it's going to whipsaw sideways to the midterms because it looks ahead. As if it's, it's whipsawed right in the same range all this time, very consistently, very consistently. Because it is genuinely saying, you know, I want to, you know, generally it's, it's indicating that it's not going to make any kind of decision until November 10th or whatever that election is over. If this thing goes the other way, I don't think, you know, the people that, that do want freedom here, I don't think they're going to let it go. 
I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I just, it's just my gut feeling, okay? It's just my, my gut feeling says I, I just don't think they're going to let it go. And I don't think they're going to do endlessly do politics over and over to, 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 to see uh, freedom through. I don't think so. I think um, politics is coming to an end real quick. It's coming down to what side do you want? And uh, that's that's really going to be the fight going forward. You know, it's going to be the the people that revere freedom and uh, the people that are communists and and totalitarians and Venezuela lovers and all that. They will be on the other side of the line on a battlefield. The battlefield could be uh, guerrilla warfare. They're planning on downing planes. They're planning on blowing up buildings. They're planning lots of stuff, too. But I don't think they expect what what will come their way should that all ramp up. And, of course, the usual suspects, the Soroses, all those people behind it all. But what's behind them and what's, what, what is this all about? And it's all about this, this epic battle for the soul of man. That's what it is. And it's being played out in a geopolitical theater. Um, you know, the, the thing is, is that, you know, what I see is capitalism, i.e. free markets, fair trade, being a way, a kind of elixir to this, a, a way of postponing total annihilation, which I know a lot of people are, are wishing for, wishing every day. And I'm hoping you don't get your wish. Uh, the... But but see it's but there are people that want to throw a monkey wrench in that. For example, if 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 Trump and Macron and others negotiate with Xi of China, Xi Jinping of China, you know, some people say, well, there's all these, you know, we we don't want to do any business with China. They're you know, we've given them everything. You know, they've stolen trillions of intellectual property and everything else, and then they you know the human rights abuses and the the death trucks that drive around and just kill people all day long. You know, I mean, there's, there's, there's all that. But, but the key to all of that being healed is the coming up of cooperation into, you know, what is acceptable and what isn't. Obviously, obviously, fair trade and economic opportunity makes humans more valuable. And uh, the way we were with uh, Obama and Clinton and all the way back, life was very cheap everywhere. We have abortions here that nobody cares about. You got, you got atrocities going on in places like, you know, Cuba, and Venezuela, and North Korea, and Iran, and China, and all these other places. You know, horrible things going on in the Middle East. Just a terrible, terrible, very uncivilized and very violent world kept that way by certain people. And I saw this, this, this thing yesterday in the spirit. Like I could see a way to move forward into peace. And, and I could see the people that were wanting to keep it the way it was, but I see this force of humanity wanting to move forward, wanting to try something new, wanting to move forward and out of this darkness. And then I saw all these people that claim to be of the light, try to keep the people in the darkness and then tell them what the light is like. And I thought, no, you got to just let it go. You know, we want to move forward and, um, and cooperate. And, and you know, we, we, it's kind of like, you know, when you're in a band, you like jamming, right? Coming up with new things, new riffs and, new ideas and you know what I mean? If you have a real working band, you know, you can, you can say, okay, try this change here, try that change there. You come up with something kind of cool. Everyone really likes it. Then there's the time when the band fights and everyone's getting fired and everyone hates everyone. No one's talking to anyone and the whole thing is, you know, come to a stifling end. Nobody wants to write any more material. Everyone hates everything. So um, gone are those good days of moving forward and, and being proactive. Again, what happens there on a microscopic scale? 
man wants to run back to what he knows, which is war, strife, pain, hating the other guy, suspecting everyone, being a victim while everyone else is a perpetrator, uh, be- becoming an innocent victim, and then standing up for my rights and fighting back against the evil hor- horrors. They're trying to take everything away from me. Um, that mentality is what produces the world order as we have it today. It produces darkness. It produces death. It produces strife. It produces anguish amongst people. And, and some of us would love to move on. We know the world is not perfect. We know the world leaders are not perfect. We know, God we know, the people who inhabit these countries are not perfect. And no, they are not victims of their oligarchs. They are also perpetrators. But they are also saints in the sense that they want to move forward because they have children, they have families, they have, you know, there's that, that, that spark of love of life, whatever, in most people. And I just think it's a terrible tragedy that with all the potential opportunities in the world today, with all the horrors that we've been through, and there's plenty of blame to go around. I mean, you know, you can blame any country you like. Blame the United States, millions dead, China, all these countries, all these big countries, Russia, the atrocities during the USSR especially were absolutely hor- horrifying, you know, locking people up till they die in jail when they didn't do anything. You know, terrible, 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 terrible crimes against humanity. Everyone's done them. I still want to move forward into another paradigm. And other people do too. Now, I don't know where this wave is going. I mean, we've been riding it long before Hugh decided to rip us off. (laughs) How funny is that? Ripping off 20 on 20. This is the real wave. Oh, I see. Sign up now. Put the hashtag QAnon everywhere. Do a rest this week. It's coming. It's coming. Here we go. At what point do you think, after how many broken promises, do you think people finally go, you know what, I'm done with this Q thing? I heard that Alex is, was throwing Q into the bus already. I, I don't know. I just don't tune in. I'm just not interested. You know, it's not, it's not that I'm not interested. It's just that I can get as much info as I need from mainstream sources. Yes, I may have to decode it a little bit, but I mean, it's the same thing. Only it seems to be a little bit quicker off the off off the off the uh, you know off the jump. So I'm I'm you know so I'm if I need I don't I really don't need geopolitics or news or anything. I, I don't need anything like that. I'm I'm dealing with spiritual warfare here. So this week, what I'm recommending is this. I don't know what level of witchcraft is. This must be level expert expert level pro. You, you know. But uh, gird yourselves and, and, you know, read Ephesians 6 and just get into, you know, being vigilant and, and realize around every corner there looks danger because this thing is just really strong right now and really bad. People are getting taken out right and left. The guy, guy went crazy in the restaurant. He, he stabbed a guy with a daughter in his lap. Another guy kills four people. It's on. I mean, it's, it's, just, it's, it's on, you know, it's... Uh, the vision I had of Kaya Jones and, you know, her being persecuted by what looked like a flying email, but it was this weird recurring thing, a recurring threat is what it was. And I think she had said something like, well, it wasn't alarming then, but now it is. And it's like, yeah, there's behind that mysterious flying thing, there's uh, violence. So I quickly went into prayer on her behalf. Then I saw some other people that uh, we know and they needed help, and then I needed help. I had to pray over myself as well. So, you know, it just became this, you know, I just started realizing, well, Lord, what is this, an onslaught of witchcraft like we've never seen? Most people are thinking that's coming up on Beltane, or that would happen back on uh, Christmas Eve or New Year's or back at, you know, Halloween. And They're not thinking now. And then the word comes back, Exactly. 
<laughs> so, uh, but you check, you know, your witness, you, you check, you, you, you know, it, it's, I, I, I've got to keep people in prayer. That's all I know. And I have to map it out better so that I can bring to you information on where, how this thing is moving. Uh, who's involved, you know, uh, I think what it is is we're touching on, on the, we're touching on the matrix. We're touching on the very supernatural thing they don't want touched on, okay? We're touching on the touch point, uh, or what Govinda calls the taproot of the entire world system. And that touching where it, they don't want it touched, that's dangerous for them because that could bring it down. Uh, and what is their their true stock and trade? Stock and trade for them is, uh, you know, wars, trafficking, children, innocence, you know, abortions, drugs that kill people, human misery, uh, uh, human victimhood, uh, you know, humans that don't try to escape their fate because they've just accepted it accepting their servitude and slavery and down 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 forever. And that's what, that's, that's how they live. And these people at the very top of the heap on that, they've learned how to thrive in this off your degradation. They thrive. It's a seesaw. As they go up, where do you go? You go down. But if they go down, where do you go? You go up. Well, consider it to be a diving board. You know, you go up and when it hits the top, jump off of it. Let them just go all the way down with their broken seesaw. So I'm sensing some kind of divide here. I don't mean a divide between people. We have millions of those. I mean a divide, you know, of of reality. It's a divide of consciousness, a divide of, you know, like, like, like a cell divides. And then it's another cell. And then it's another dimension. I feel like some of us, maybe not all of us, I can't really put it into words, but we're moving into something else. And um, it's the old rules, the old darkness does not apply exactly. And I can't tell you what that is. I'm not looking for any Armageddon bypass. I'm not looking to get out of the dreadful day of the Lord of judgment where everyone's going to be found guilty and, and tortured and exterminated and resurrected just to be cl clubbed again <laughs> until there's just so bloody and bludgeoned there's nothing there to remember anything. Sure, you know, God's going to adjudicate all the bad things. I mean... Nobody gets away with anything ultimately. The only way we, we escape that is that we are washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. Our sins are forgiven by his blood because otherwise we couldn't be forgiven. I would love to see that mass forgiveness, that mass amnesty. Because otherwise the human and every, everything about humanity must be wiped out to the very root that it has all been one big waste of time. All of it, simply a waste of time. Annihilate it all. It should have never been in the first place. Who says that? The Gnostics, you know. You know the Gnostics. They hate the material world. They like the spiritual world. They don't want the material world to exist because it's evil. I understand that. The Gnostics uh, obviously were very smart and very, very thoughtful in their approach to, to everything. They concluded correctly that the carnal, evil, material world is corrupt and awful and, and life is cheap and, and, and people are suffering and people hurt and nobody seems happy and it seems like a mess. Where the spiritual world is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. In its own way. Yes. I would like to... Uh, okay. Predictions. 
Where are the arrests, Zeff? You talking to me? Where are the arrests, Zeff? Well, I'm, uh, I'm not Q. I'm not Alex Jones. I'm not any of these people that told you the arrests were weeks ago. They've lost. What happened to Pizzagate? Oh, man, Pizzagate. <laughs> it's, uh... When's that going to be adjudicated? Well, my friend, it's not exactly on the docket. The arrests are not exactly imminent. There seems to be some blocking going on, some something blocking justice. There seems to be something in the way. Well, but this is April, April showers, May flowers, you know. This is where all the excitement's going to happen. Oh, well, they're saying there's a big, 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 big bomb of excitement coming in just a couple of days. Just hold on. We're not done yet. By the way, if there's a big Moab of justice Count me in. I'm all for it. Been waiting a long time. All these people lied to me. They told me it was going to happen tomorrow, next week, and it's already happened, and they were wearing bracelets and this and that. And then they tell me, well, well, I guess I was mistaken. All right, fine. Well, here's one more chance. I'll accept a Moab. Big bombshell dropping this week. How's that? I would love it, folks. Oh, you got to discount all these other people, these so-called Pizzagate researchers and all that. They've been, they've been claiming it's going to move forward it's, it's for, for months and months and I don't know how long they've been claiming it, since they discovered the uh, Podesta emails, I suppose. But you see how things work. In other words, things have worked and things are moving forward as we thought they would and as we discussed on you know, here and at 20 on 20 and in various times, we've discussed how justice unfolds and how Trump is doing what he can do and how things have been moving forward with uh, the human trafficking and child sex trafficking laws have been signed. And it's just not enough for, 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 for you know, they're still throwing Trump on the bus. I, I don't know what else other world you came from. Where do you think we are now? A world where there's no war, a world where there's no strife, a world where people are perfect, a world where everything is black and white. That's not this world. That's not the way things work. I have no doubt from Eric Trump's writings and from uh, some of the other people that are close to the White House and around the power, the power center of Washington, D.C., I have no doubt they want to drain the swamp yesterday. They want all the same arrests that all the Cube followers want. They want all this stuff to be true. They want these people to be, you know, held accountable under the rule of law like everybody else. But they just can't get it done, right, when people really need it done or when they've been predicting it because that that would circumvent our legal system is for one for one explanation, for one explanation, you have to re- have a criminal referral, and then there's investigation, and then there's grand juries, and then there's there are or there are not indictments, depending on what the grand jury comes up with or what happens there. Uh, that's the way our criminal justice system works. If you don't like it, get another one. But I mean, it doesn't mean that tomorrow suddenly there are a hundred million, you know, sealed indictments, and they're all going into effect. It would be wonderful. Sometimes sealed indictments are not acted upon. Many of these people watching, maybe they're singing already. Maybe they're all flipping on each other. Something's going on. But, you know, the way people described it, okay, and the way people described the way law was going to go on was more like a military dictatorship. 
according to QAnon, et cetera, or Alex Jones, or anybody who said mass arrest and everything. The mass arrest is when you have tribunals and mass arrest and, you know, military trials. And, and I mean, I'd love to see that, sure. I mean, I, I'm all for it, but, you know, it's, it's, it's we have a system here. And, you know, right now you've got, uh, I'm not sure that uh, Sessions is going to come to the rescue, as QAnon said, or that Mueller and Trump are working together for the biggest sting operation of all time. But I do see heat coming on Hillary and a lot of the, uh, you know, the people that are guilty, you know, getting caught under the color of law. And then, and then maybe the, the Wiener stuff will come forth off that computer one of these days. And maybe there are people even working on it now. It just doesn't happen. My issue is not whether it happens or not. I, we've all been praying for it to come to pass for these people to be, to, to have the same justice under the law as you and I get. We've all been wanting justice uh, and we've been getting it. Uh, the people are discouraged because they wanted more. Uh, they wanted a lot more than what they've seen. And they they were promised a bunch of times in a row and lied to every single time. And then yet they went back to, to feed where they were feeding and forgave uh, the people giving out the disinfo to them and are waiting on their every word because they feel like the next bit of crumbs will be nirvana, which is other people getting in trouble besides them. Because they're victims. Uh, The plans are in the works to arrest the perps right now. And they are planning on arresting and draining the swamp and putting people in jail for crimes, cover-ups, obstruction of justice, that sort of thing. If it can go further than that, it will be a multi-year investigation. Pizzagate, Pedogate, Pedivore, all those things will take a great deal of investigation. What does it take more than that? Witnesses, right, who will testify against these people. Who will do that? How long will they live once they testify? A day? They don't want to, you know, they're not going to, you know, they're not going to testify because they don't want to get whacked. So how do you get that to happen? You know, well, one one thing you do is go after the low-hanging fruit. You go after what you can indict for. If it's a uh, bank fraud, then it's bank fraud. If it's if it's a uh, uh, defrauding charity, it's a defrauding charity. Whatever it whatever it can get done more easily, and then working your way up to the other to the to the other levels. Uh, yes, it's possible that it could all happen in a day with you know mass arrest, but it's also possible those people will be out of jail before you could say clickbait. So, <laughs> sorry, it's so frustrating, but, you know, we've, I, I, I just advocate being grateful for the things that have happened and, you know, pray for more, the Lord would provide us more, you know, more justice and pray for people's hearts to change to good toward the Lord. Without that revival of the heart toward God, we have nothing in America. There's no point in rounding people up. A true awakening is the same today as it was 2,000 years ago. It's an understanding that God is the sovereign. Everything else under him. Capisce? Well, it can't be a long day today. I may be back later. I am so sorry that we had such, you know, terrible communications and, you know, we've only got an hour now and, and uh, you know, trying to, I think I, the main theme that I want to leave you with is that witchcraft is high right now and we need to be in a praying mode. And I pray right now to plead the blood of Jesus on this podcast and on everybody listening and Lord, show them if they need to be praying for witchcraft to eradicate witchcraft in their families, 
uh, amongst their friends and, and uh, or even just out in the world in general. Uh, show them, Lord. Guide, guide us all into prayer because you can do it. You can thwart all this witchcraft. Some very good people are very much in jeopardy right now, Lord, and I pray in Jesus' name that they are protected, especially everyone we prayed for last night, protected and guided in what, you know, in where they should go, number one, uh, say and, and, and mean in the world. And with that, I bid you shalom. I'm going to have to leave early, and I'm sorry, but there's just no other way.